and welcome to this power duration two minute tutorial on modeled VO2 Max. Modeled VO2 Max is available in the hero bar of any selected athlete. You'll find it in the top right with your power duration metrics. Modeled VO2 Max can be utilized in both charts and reports. Model VO2 max is the maximum amount of oxygen the body can use during a specified period of usually intense exercise. VO2 max is typically expressed either in units of liters of O2 per minute, which is the absolute number, or it can be milliliters of O2 per minute per kilogram of body rate, which is the relative number. Typically, people look at the relative number when they talk about VO2 max. How do we measure modeled VO2 max? Well, it is a model derived metric, so the power duration model produces our modeled VO2 max. We also have the ability to model power at VO2 max, and that's an output you can again use in charts and reports in WKO5. Model defined VO2 max, oxygen is used to break down carbs, fats, and proteins in your body into usable fuel for your muscles. So more oxygen means more aerobic fuel. The more oxygen you can intake and uptake into your system, uh, the more you can produce energy aerobically. VO2 max is about 80% genetic and 20% trainable. Often we hear that you cannot raise your VO2 max in training and that it's genetically capped. Um, whereas in that is based in accuracy, it's not fully accurate. You can increase your VO2 max in training. Some typical standards that we see, uh, let's call this the average good to great standard. And this is really just a range of untrained trained and elite athletes and their uh, average VO2 max. The relative number is the number that we use in the hero bar of WKO5. Thank you.